So right away, we're starting out on, like, one of the classic sand boats from... It looks like a different design. Not one of the classic ones from For You or even Try. But it's definitely one of the sand boats, which means... If we're lucky, we'll see the return of the Morans, which I'm excited for. Those are some of my favorite hunts back in the day. But beggars can't be choosers. We're already hoping for Legiacris here. All right, so three things. I see we get a better look at our hunter now, and the slinger is still there. The palico has new equipment on both palicos. So, I can only assume that this is all new monster gear. At the very least, that's base gear palico, base gear for the palico. And um, the palico on the left is featuring some new monster or maybe a new variant. The hunter that looks like the palico's owner, that might be a type of Rathian armor, but it doesn't look like the traditional sort. This could just be more of the new world armor design because they had a lot of different weapon designs that were very very reserved until you hit g rank and they started to become more classic designs i'm wondering if that's more of the same but i do know it's a bit of a stretch and it probably is just a different suit of armor altogether okay. okay so we get our first look of the handlers i can't fucking believe it but i think the one on the left is actually our old handler older maybe different um I have watched the trailer already. I can only assume that this is our old handler. I'm not sure if she's the, exactly the same, but arguably I'm more interested in with this one on the left. I'm wondering who she is. Because she does not look like the serious handler. Spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great. You bet. Okay, I, I this kind of freaked me out at first. Now, um, how do I say this? I always was aware of the fact that Palicos could talk. I did not expect that voice to come out of a fucking cat. Alright, so I'm wondering what this is all about. Monster Hunter loves, and I mean they love to have the inciting incident for most of the games to be an item of glittering, almost treasure-like worth to it. My mind goes back to For You and um, the like piece of the, the Shigeru Megala being kind of like the crux for the beginning because that was in the um, that was in oh god I can't remember his fucking name but um, that was in the um, hunt party leaders like hat the whole time but I can only think that this necklace is gonna somehow have something to do with the elder dragon or something or other. All right. That is the original commission leader in the back there. Very interesting to see that he's alive still. And we have one hunter on the left and some kid on the right. Now, I'm wondering if they're related, maybe brothers, maybe something or other. But I guess we'll have to see when this game finally comes out or when we get more trailers to go off of right now. A lot of this is conjecture. I am a veteran of Monster Hunter, but there's still only so much you can go off of here. This looks to be like the guild hall that was in the ship in world but it doesn't look the same completely <laughs> first look at the zone it's good to finally be here and actually look at this um it looks roughly to be in the same area as the um trailer was the initial trailer the dunes and the rock work being the same and those large spires that poke out and get struck by lightning what's interesting to see is that the um, the monsters there one is actually carrying one of the herbivores and they're walking in a pack and as we'll see in a bit here it seems to be three smaller ones and a red one i'm actually curious because it seems as if like we're trying to move away from drones and greats so i'm wondering if um well, not so much we're moving away from them, but more like we're moving into different territories for different types of monsters. And I'm curious if we're moving towards like a mammal great, like kind of like the great Jagras, being more like lizard-like and less raptor, raptor-like. Our first look at some new monsters. We see some raptors in the back and what looks to be a gorilla frog. I'm going to call him Bullfrag. Never heard of a Karaknoth herd this big before. 
finally getting a name for these guys. They're called Karathnoths. All right, so more things. Area that we see from the Overlook. We're finally getting a better look at that. On top of that, it seems to be an expedition-like thing or maybe just a quick sortie. Um, we get to see more of our bird mount, and we get to see the fact that the Palico can, in fact, ride on the bird. Thank God I was worried about that. It... One of them's got big spikes on its back. More views of the planes, a different little birdie there. I can only just... My mind swells with possibilities here. Different time cycles of the day instead of like the day night cycle like back in try or for you it seems like or even in world it seems like there's actually going to be different like animals different behaviors and different environmental things here because it's very dusty here i, I wonder if this is actually the cycle that we saw inside of the trailer with the like dust storm bringing in the new cycle of like the food and like the the valley coming to life after the dust settles I saw this and I was curious because this isn't a fucking, like, anything. This little crocodilian thing here. I can only wonder if it's a new just minor predator. Like, we're just getting, like, different actual predators of different um, makes and wants. Like, I'm sort of thinking it's along the lines of, um, you know, like... A great Jaggy versus a Luderoth. But it makes me excited because it does mean that at least water-dwelling creatures are existing. So it, we could see Luderoth, Royal Luderoth, or even like, you know, something similar. But it also makes me worry because why is it just not a Luderoth? But then again, we're inland in a fucking desert, so God forbid. It also doesn't look like a great big monster compared to the sizes at the least. But we are getting to see some of these bigger raptors and like, you know, I don't know what these are. They're definitely supposed to feel the idea of Jaggy, but I'm just curious where this is going to go from here. Our first look at these guys, finally. We saw these in the trailer back during the Game Awards. And to get a better look at their faces, they do seem to be definitely mammals or um, a fanged beast of some sort. But then we're going to get a look at the big one here in a second. This thing, I don't know what exactly it is, but this is definitely another fanged beast. As we saw in the trailer, it shares one of the Azoros' moves, so we can tell that obviously is going to be like one of the starting monsters. Very few monsters share move sets with like starting monsters like Azoros or Lagambi or very many others, unless it's a higher ranked variant. But regardless, these designs look really, really cool. And based on the structure, I'm wondering if they're going for almost a greater great. All right, so as usual in world, you're out on an expedition with your handler, which I still can't believe they're doing this crap. Ha unarmed handlers and stuff like that. But regardless, at least it seems like the cover mechanic is still in the game because they're using it in the cutscene, which is very neat. I mean, that was always like fun to sneak around and then like set up the hunt or do something funny with it. Like, you know, hide a bunch of like explosive barrels inside the bushes and then just wait for the monster to come around after slinging at them. More footage of our buddies going about. Now deleted away. A lot of stuff is going to happen very quickly, so keep up with me now. The slinger wire is being used to actually grab items on the mount. So what's cool about this is when I saw this initially, I'm like, okay, that's neat. You're giving more, giving some more options on the mount. Like um, in Rise... It gave us a bunch of minor things you could do. You could still mine, do all this other jazz. But now it seems like they're giving us near full control while we're on the mount. While you're being pursued by this pack of... I don't know. For now, I'm going to refer to them as sand ursas. We'll make for the desert. Alright, so here's the cool thing. We get a look at these cliffs, which are the exact same shape and color as the cliffs from the main trailer. But also, in a second, right. the hunter launches a slinger into one of the other ones so i'm curious because this is interesting it seems like the lead one is tracking you down while the others are falling behind 
I'm curious because it seems like he's singling it out, trying to break the pursuit up of the little ones to single out the big one. Now, I don't want to, you know, suggest anything crazy, but I think they're going to actually add some hunting elements to fucking Monster Hunter. At least when it comes to these bigger pack animals. Because it's really interesting to think about that, you know, if this thing does run with the big packs of beefy monsters, you want to single out the big one. Because usually in a great, great jagger, like a, in a great pack, like you have the main one and all the other little subordinates. And like great jaggy is good with, um, you know, using the jaggies to actually single you out and annoy you and distract you. But with this, it seems like they're actually bringing in a whole load. Like, I don't think, like, okay, one Azoros is fine. Having to fight four, even if the other four are, like, only at half health, I don't think so. So, I'm very interested to see where they're taking this. More of the Sandstorm. This is the exact area he you were running in from in the trailer. So, this time you're running towards the Sandstorm. So, I'm very excited to see where this is going. The Sandstorm! Get a great shot of the Hunter inside the sandstorm actually seeing where the lightning is we get a good better look at this armor and um i can say without a doubt that it does not look like pookie pookie it could very well could be because i remember the pookie pookie armor basically having the same setup with the mask and the little gas things right here the little gas things right here so i could be wrong but this could just be a new armor set too this could just be the base um armor set for like world as in like the commission set Sand traps, so the Wildspire Ways had a similar sand trap, and I can only... <laughs> I would like to hope that at least Diablos is in the game by this extension. We know that there are monsters from the base game in, because Rathalos is obviously in the fucking game, but um, I can only assume that by default, because um, I know how Capcom are with Monster Hunter games, they want the path of least resistance when implementing a monster and if Rathalos is in there and Diablos is going to be in there that means a lot of the base monsters is going to be in there too which isn't the end of the world but you know a lot of people want new monsters not repeats but you know I'm 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 all for like uh, give me a roster of new monsters I also know that Capcom doesn't like adding new monsters unless they have to and it feels like we're already getting a look at you know many new monsters here so let's keep going <laughs> This is actually super interesting. I can't wait to actually talk about this proper. All right, so take a look at this. All right, so this is obviously a turf war, right? But you can just barely see that there is another monster in the turf war here. I thought initially this was just, you know, more of this. But, like, as you see, like, the hand is right here. And that's some kind of jaw. So I'm just curious as to what this monster is and what it what it's supposed to be. Um, initially, I looked at the structure of like the mouth and like the head, and it's like, oh, is it like a really tiny De Delamador or some crap like that? But then I was like, that's fucking stupid. But at the same time, this is a new monster, or it's too it's too large to be a minor predator or like a you know. So I'm just curious as to what it is, and we're getting a good look at it. And you can, like I said, you can see the um, sand ursa's like arm right there. So that's either a jaw or the part of the monster itself. It kind of reminds me almost like a um, like a rabo band, but like not really. You can see like the teeth, the cheek is almost like right there. Leg and tail are right there. So it flips it. This is obviously like an in cutscene. But you get a really good look at, like, what this monster's whole deal is, or other monster. It might be a minor, like the Great Izuchi, or, I'm sorry, like, a, not Izuchi, like a Tobi Tadachi. Like, it could fill that order, but who knows at this point. So, monster gets suplexed. And then you get a really fucking cool shot of the Sand Ursa. Desert Ursa? Oh, I like Desert Ursa. So, let's zoom back here, see if we can see anything else after it gets suplexed. So, monster Hunter dodges the monster suplex. And, let's see here. It looks like just underbelly. No eyes, no mouth, barely any head. Rolls back. Desert Earth. God, that's a fucking cool shot. 
Okay, takes a swing. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so let's see here. Definitely an odd-looking monster. This is definitely the back legs and the front legs. Almost human-like hands. How odd. It almost it almost looks like a um Odegoron. Oh, what is what is that? Okay, so I'm seeing a bit of blue here. I'm not sure what the hell that's all about. That's crazy. So, seeing some blue there. I'm not sure if that's an eye or a part, but that's definitely the, that's definitely where the head is. So I'm curious if that's an eye or maybe some type of organ or power thing. So it flips around. We don't get a good shot of the head. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe that's another eye, that blue, that white thing right there. What a weird looking fucking head. Yeah, it's that's definitely that's definitely a chin, and it looks a lot like a Raboban. What a weird looking thing. Flips over. Okay, so definitely a chin there. Just like the Anjanath and the um, oh, here we go. So I'm guessing this boy, the Desert Ursa, is going to be a probably the same, filling the same niche as the Anjanath did in this locale at the very least. Especially because this um, is very similar to the Anjanath's like intro cutscene. I'm just curious if um, this is going to be the greater predator here, like the wall that is Anjanath. Now commencing the hunt by order of the guild. I don't know how I feel about that fucking line there that just kind of feels a little bit cringe if i'm being completely honest but but but, but but we got some combat coming up here so take a look now commencing the hunt by order of the all right so that we I, my initial summation was right as usual this is a great sword great swords are kind of synonymous with monster hunter don't worry i'm gonna be relearning my great swords tree like before i get into this game because i want to go in this not with lance and like switch acts like i usually do when i go into monster hunter wilds i want to come at this with a fresh look i want to go back to my roots with a great sword because that's what i that was the first weapon i mained in try was great sword and switch axe but you know it'd be nice to actually go back to one one of my other halves here so we got the overhead got the rolls back so it looks like these fights during this seems to be like you know you want these bigger things to be alive to attract lightning bolts because I can only imagine they're going to attract to you if you're not fighting and if you're fighting inside the storm. It'd be neat to see weather effects actually come into play finally, but um, weather effects other than cold or hot, but this could be a very, very cool step forward. All right, so we get another better look of what I call the bullfrag. So let's see how it goes. Seems like he might have knocked over or threw a rock at our hunter here because our bird is completely knocked down. So I'm seeing a big tongue, which means, you know, we're seeing more amphibians. Maybe we'll see Tetsukabra. I fucking doubt it, even though it'd be really nice to see it again. Seeing some of the combat. Knocking over. Now, what's neat about this is that you heard the whistle, and then your bird comes in here and picks you up so you can get out of here. So, I'm curious if, um, much like Elden Ring, the mount is actually going to be viable to get out of the range of many attacks. Because, um, as, as many of you might have seen during my fucking fight with the Rot Dragon, like, I used Torrent to actually get out of the way of a lot of the Fire Breaths and a lot of the more damaging attacks so i'm curious if they're actually implementing something like that into the game where if you can see a monster winding up it might be more viable to whistle have your mount grab you and get out of range that way and therefore they can do crazier attacks like that because you don't just need the superman dive anymore but i'd really hope because what's funny is i didn't see this i haven't seen the superman dive yet and i don't want to say they got rid of it because god forbid but you know Now, we see another turf war, but interestingly enough, it's with the raptors. And we get a good size comparison of how these things are supposed to look now. 
Now, there's three of these things jumping this this bullfrag, and... Ooh, jeez, I just got a good look at their mouths now. Good God. I'm going to call these Scrappies. Because <laughs> they, cause their mouth looks like scrap metal. Yeah, so then there's probably going to be a great Scrappy. <laughs> but interestingly enough, it looks like there are lesser predators actually hyping up and doing a turf war here. I say lesser, but these things actually look pretty big. They kind of look like a, um, they kind of look like a Kulu Yaku size almost. Not as big, but just about. Good lord. All right, now we get the, um, Desert Ursas here. Okay, really fucking cool. They show off the switch mechanic. So, let's just screw play by play this real quick because this was really fucking cool to see all right so going in mount is running gets really low switches great sword into there oh wow yeah it just it just switches it just swaps models which you know what can you do so pulls out the heavy bow gun this is a really cool bow gun design actually it's very reminiscent of some of the designs from try it's almost like a medium bow gun rather than a heavy one. Like the medium bow gun designs were really, really cool, but we'll go we'll keep going here because our hunt is gonna take a couple shots here. So it looks like those are actually slugs there um pelting out of the bow gun, which is interesting because I wonder if this is just straight up a gun now. Like it's always been a bow gun, but like, you know, there's always been like, you know shells or arrows or bows that get shot out of it i don't see the bow part of the bow gun here i think this is just straight up a gun like very interestingly enough now that i look at it i don't see any bow parts oh wait hang on hang on let me just oh wait no it's all the way in the back there are if that's supposed to be like a compound thing but i don't see any wires or even the part where we hook into the gun but let's let's just i think i think i i, I honestly think oh shit that's a gun <laughs> all right now we get to see some cool mounted combat diving off the bird into a strike like um kind of as possible in world and rise all right so here's the coolest fucking part of this trailer i think um our boy is stancing up here showing off his new weapon and, um, what's cool about this is that, um, like, I think they're bringing back stances of all fucking things. Like, I honest to God think they're bringing back stances, which would be really cool if they do, because that looks like Valor stance, if I'm being completely hecking honest. This looks like either Valor or some type of counter. And it's, it, it is flashy. I mean, look at this fucking thing. Comes in. The minor Desert Ursa's right there. This big Desert Ursa is just coming in. Just look at the size of that maw. He's really hamming it up. But what's cool is that it looks like he's going for a bite, but he's actually going for a strike. So I'm curious if um they're, like, telegraphing fight. It, like, moves in a different way. But hits it. Big flash strike and he's knocked over like i can only wonder also you can see that there is something in the slinger there i wonder if that's a slinger thorn or something else but we'll probably know when the game comes out goes running in here for a for a round and a strike so i'm curious if there are going to be like adding new combos to weapons as well then we get to see a new gadget for the bow gun right here really cool now check this out i'm wondering if these are apex points if you remember in generations on some of the bigger bads they would have these points you would have to hit over and over again it's either that or this is a like fire effect like in rise when you set a monster on fire and starts taking tick damage i'm wondering if that's something similar also cool fucking move Thank you, God, we get something really neat for the greatsword that allows you to just drag that bitch across the monster. Like, that's so cool. Like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show that again, just because it was, it was really neat. Alright, so check this out, right? So, hits him. Reels back. Great character animations, too. 
Like, ah, oh, just look at this. Look at this. It's lovely. Hang on, let me just... Alright. So you blast the baddie. Alright, so reeling back. Comes in. Nails him. Those things go away, which makes me think it's probably like those points. Because if it was a stasis effect, it would still be on there. So I'm just curious. Or it could be like those fireflies that hook on to, um, you know, could these be scout flies? I don't know. So hits him. Great footwork here. Like, I, I think this is so cool. All right, so right on his tippy toes. Big steppy, and he just drags that son of a bitch across the monster. Oh, that feels and looks so good. And it knocks him back. And there's another minor Desert Ursa right there. Okay, so we get the um, commission commander here. Obviously much older, but geez louise. Either that or it's someone different. It could very well be him. It could be very, very well be someone new. But it looks like our main guy. Hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. Okay, so voiced hunter. This is obviously the player character. More of the um. Oh god, I forgot what these things are called already. Oh, and of course, and of course, they gotta show off the animation that's synonymous with world's multiplayer. Launch that flare. Okay, okay, okay. Let's actually dissect these guys coming up. I'm actually super curious. So we got three hunters coming in to help. Let's take a look at these armor sets. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought that was Barry off armor. So, we got this dude on the left with this yellow fur. I'm thinking that's Desert Ursa armor. That armor, I don't know what it is on the right. It could be something similar to the monster that was flipped. You know, the armored monster that looked a little bit like Odegoron. So, let's see if we can get closer. Okay, okay, okay. We can get a little bit closer. I'm guessing that one on the left is probably Desert Ursa armor just because of how the yellow is. And those minor ones have, like, the same yellow. I'm not sure about the helmet, though. That one on the right, though, very interesting. Um, no idea what armor that is. Definitely a new monster armor. One in the back, I can't even see them yet. Hang on, let's see if they get a little bit closer. Oh, nuts. I can barely make that out. Hang on, okay. Oh, and of course, they're back size now. All right, showing off the multiplayer. All right, so this was fucking cool the first time I saw this. I flipped out. I've been wanting something like this since for you. Give me something like to shove into the monster or the monster's mouth or even grab the tail with. Like, this is such a cool fucking thing here. Like, look at this. And he's just, he's just power struggling with the fucking monster. Like, thank God I've been wanting a feature like this forever. Just, just look at how cool that is. Just power struggling. Like, it, it just makes the great sword feel more great. But let's actually take a look at this real quick because... Alright, so it looks like whatever stance this is, this might be some type of valor stance or some type of, like, you know, reaction stance and, like... The guard might be with that stance. This might be like a brawler stance or like a grappler stance, maybe. Or something similar. I don't know. I'm throwing shit at the wall here. But, like, they have also the new hunter's knife looking, I guess. I don't know how I feel about it, but, you know, we'll see in a second here. But, like, switch a stance into the guard. It hits, but then it triggers. Actually, look at that. This might be a this might just be a cutscene thing because it hits the block animation. That's the natural block stun animation. Then comes in, grabs it with it, and then it's a spark. Oh oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. One to the right is definitely using a long sword. That's one of the overhead ones. Then we got our friend. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. New hammer design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hammer bros got a new hammer. Which looks like a whole ass anvil on a stick. Or like a big clothes iron. So I'm guessing this is mounting or a new type of mounting at the very least. All right, now we can finally see our friend that was on the left. 
I'm guessing his armor is actually the mystery monster because of the same type of um, design with the armor and the skin. And then, Monster Hunter Wilds. Okay, so, 2025 wish list. I mean, obviously, I'll be playing the fuck out of this game. Um, we're five months into the year, so that's actually not that far away. But regardless, this trailer has shown us a lot and given me a lot to think about which direction they're taking this. They haven't shown off any of the bigger monsters besides what I'm calling the Desert Earth and the Bullfrag. Fuck!